In the Castlevania universe, where creatures of the night rule, one family's legacy has shone brightly for generations. In the last few years, there are millions who have been introduced to the Castlevania through Netflix. The Castlevania franchise boasts a range of monster hunting heroes, each with their unique tales of bravery. Much like their giant family mansion, which sits over the horizon against the darkness, there are over 30 games that trace the Belmont bloodline and their stories. But today, we're going to uncover a Belmont hero who may not be as familiar to those who've just recently joined the ranks of Castlevania fan club. We're talking about Trevor's great-grandson, Christopher Belmont. Following in his footsteps, Christopher has faced the same evil that once plagued his ancestors. It's time to unravel the secrets of this vampire hunter. So sharpen your stakes, load your holy water, and join us in the shadows. Before we go into our explanation, we have a small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. It's a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. Christopher Belmont, first few steps. Let me introduce you to the one and only Christopher Belmont. He's the star of the show in the first two exciting Castlevania games for the Nintendo Game Boy. We're talking about Castlevania The Adventure and Castlevania II Belmont's Revenge, where Christopher takes the spotlight in his battle against the blood-sucking forces of darkness. But Christopher isn't content with just one vampire-slaying escapade. Nope, he's so epic that he gets an alternate version of himself in the remake of the first game, known as Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth and this time it's on the Nintendo Wii console. Did you know Christopher's legend doesn't begin with these games though? He was actually mentioned in the original Castlevania's Japanese manual, hinting at the vampire hunting greatness that would follow. It's Christopher's turn. In Castlevania The Adventure, something truly fantastic happens. Count Dracula, the Dark Lord, decided to make a grand comeback exactly one century after his untimely demise at the hands of the legendary Trevor Belmont and his squad of vampire-slaying heroes. But this wasn't a regular resurrection. Dracula had a thing for dramatic timing and he clocked in for a century-long nap. Christopher must have had a direct line to the supernatural memo because right on schedule, he heard the call. Dracula's return meant it was time for Christopher to strap on his vampire slain boots and face the Dark Lord once again. As we know it, Christopher's bloodline had a date with destiny and it involved challenging Dracula and locking him away for yet another century. Armed with none other than the iconic vampire killer whip, the very same one that Trevor Belmont used to give Dracula a one-way ticket to oblivion, Christopher sets forth on his unpredictable journey to Dracula's castle. This is no walk in the park. Christopher ventures through a creepy graveyard, a cave that's probably the vampire's home, and a tower that's rigged with more traps than a heist movie. But he's a Belmont, and he's got the whip that means business, and then it's showdown time. Christopher goes head to head with Dracula, fangs versus whip, in a battle that'll have you clutching your gaming controller. Of course our hero comes out on top, but it's not over just yet. Just when Christopher thinks it's time to bask in his victory and walk away from the crumbling castle like a boss, there's a little twist. Unbeknownst to him, Dracula escapes, transforming into mist and slipping through the cracks of the rubble. It looks like Dracula isn't one to call it quits. He'll be back. You can count on that. Drac has a thing for cowardly exits, flying away in a bat form from the ruins of his castle, all while waiting for the ideal opportunity to retaliate against the Belmonts. Dracula's perfect opportunity, Soleil Belmont. Fast forward 15 years in the gaming universe and we find ourselves in Castlevania II Belmont's Revenge. It's a whole new era. Christopher Belmont's son, the young and daring Soleil, is stepping up to the plate as the next generation vampire hunter. The occasion calls for a grand celebration in honor of Soleil's passage into manhood. It's not every day you officially become a vampire slayer after all. The people of Transylvania are beaming with confidence, thinking that their days of peace will stretch on and on. And why? Because with both Christopher and Soleil standing guard, it seems like the land is in pretty good hands. But don't let the party hats fool you. Count Dracula isn't one to back down. He may have survived his last epic showdown with Christopher, but he's not exactly in tip-top shape. In fact, he's staggering around like a vampire who's had a few too many. Dracula's stuck in a misty, ethereal form that saved his undead life. And now Dracula has his eyes on Soleil. He sees this young Belmont as a golden opportunity to regain his full power and take another shot at Christopher. The day after that big celebration, something straight out of a a horror tale happened. Young Soleil, the fresh face of vampire hunting, vanished into thin air. Poof! And to make things even more fantastical, four elemental castles spring up like mushrooms on a rainy night. Now, when Christopher got wind of his son's sudden disappearance, he knew that it was time to put on his cape and set out to save the day. He bursts into those mysterious castles and finds a bunch of guardians. Christopher swiftly defeats them, and to top it off, the elemental spirits residing in those castles choose to leave. If that wasn't enough drama already, Count Dracula's castle decides to make an 
an entrance, rising up from the earth like a gothic phoenix. Inside that foreboding castle, Christopher finally catches a glimpse of his missing son, Soleil. Only there's a tiny catch. Dracula had done a little magic mojo to turn Soleil against his own dear dad. And what do you do when your son's under a spell and itching for a father-son showdown? Well, you duel it out, of course. And it's Belmont versus Belmont in a battle that will tug at your heartstrings. But in the end, Christopher's unyielding spirit wins the day, breaking Dracula's spell and freeing Soleil from his supernatural puppetry. Soleil reveals Dracula's grand scheme. The sneaky Count was all set to use those four castle spirits to make himself whole again, but Christopher was having none of that. He presses on, determined for the final face-off with Dracula, and just like that, Christopher came, saw, and staked his way to victory, dusting the Count and giving him a one-way ticket to wherever vampires go when they'd been thoroughly dealt with. The world was safe, and the Belmont bloodline continued stronger than ever. As the castle crumbled, Christopher and Soleil stood tall, knowing that they'd banished Dracula, for the time being at least. The Belmont Legacy and New Reality In the year 2005, something pretty epic happened. A graphic novel called Castlevania The Belmont Legacy hit the scene, and it decided to give Christopher a more intricate backstory. It takes the events of Castlevania, the adventure, and stretches them out like taffy, introducing a brand new set of characters and revealing the deeper reasons driving Christopher's epic quest against the vampires. Here's where things get really interesting. The setting of this graphic novel does a total 180 from the game, transporting us to the Victorian era, so imagine top hats, corsets, and a whole lot of dramatic candlelit scenes. And the comics turn Christopher into a member of an honourable family. We're talking potentially noble heritage here. This Belmont is moving up in the world. Despite the Belmont legacy being an officially licensed product, it's like the odd cousin in the family. It's never been used as a reference in any other Castlevania products. So what does that mean? Well, in all the wild stuff that goes down in the graphic novel, it's assumed to be in a different dimension, an alternate continuity if you will. Coming up next, we'll take a deep dive into the nitty-gritty details of this comic book adventure. Christopher, from the pages of comics. Let's spin you a tale about the man, the vampire hunting legend Christopher Belmont. This time we're diving into the graphic novel Castlevania The Belmont Legacy by the American publishing powerhouse IDW. Now you see Christopher's not your average Joe, obviously. He's got a family tree that's bursting with vampire hunters, including some big shot ancestors who were worthy opponents for the evil Dracula, a full century before Christopher was even a twinkle in his parents' eyes. But Christopher initially brushes all this off as me old-timey folk tales. Vampires? Dracula? Nah, he's not buying it. But you know how life goes. Sometimes it has a way of warning you. So one fateful day, Christopher's reality takes a nosedive when he's forced to become the hero he never thought he'd be. He wakes up in a cold sweat from a nightmare. In this dream, Count Dracula himself went all vampy on his son. Turns out there's this legend that's been whispering about Dracula's grand return. The whole resurrection thing is looming on the horizon and that's enough to make anyone lose sleep. But it's not all doom and gloom. You see, Christopher's got something really pretty special to look forward to. He's about to tie the knot with the lovely Ileana Richter. After a night of wedded bliss with his lovely new bride, Christopher Belmont wakes up to a nasty surprise. The Belmont family's resting place was vandalised and it gave Christopher chills and confirmed his fears about Count Dracula's return. The Totian family, another group of vampire hunters, shows up like the cavalry, bearing a gift for a Belmont hero. They hand over the Belmont's very own magical whip, which they've kept safe till the right time. And it gets even better. Christopher decides to go full-on Belmont mode, collecting all those legendary weapons from his forefather's arsenal. Armed to the teeth with his trusty whip, the Totian's at his side, and his ever-faithful manservant Deimos, and his blushing bride, he embarks on a journey into the heart of darkness, Count Dracula's castle. Soon Ileana and Christopher find themselves torn apart like a torn up wedding invitation. Count Dracula is up to no good as per usual and he's gone and snatched Ileana right from under Christopher's nose. But the Belmont hero doesn't take this lying down. He rallies his squad and heads straight for the vampire's castle. Soon they run into a horde of zombies. But our vampire hunters know how to handle a zombie apocalypse. They slice and dice their way through the undead menace pursuing Count Dracula to a cave nestled in the side of a spooky mountain. And that's where the ultimate showdown takes place, Christopher versus Dracula. In the end, Christopher wins and the gang make their way back to the Belmont estate, feeling like they've just saved the day. And they have, but there's more to this story. A character named Pasha Totian, who's been through the ringer with Dracula, becomes the newest member of the Belmont clan. See, her family didn't make it in the struggle against the Count, and the Belmonts took her in. It looks like everything is going their way. Ileana Belmont is pregnant with Christopher's child, which should be all 
sunshine and roses, right? Well, not so fast. It turns out this unborn baby might have picked up some rather interesting traits from Count Dracula himself, with his eyes glowing blood red while still in the womb. Unfortunately, we're left with this unborn mystery in the final issue of the comics, and we can't wait for this to unravel. How powerful is Christopher Belmont? Christopher Belmont, the man with some insane skills. Being a Belmont is like having a secret cheat code for life. First off, moving massive blocks that would give anyone else a hernia, piece of cake for a Belmont. And when it comes to monsters, forget about needing boosts or power-ups. A Belmont can take on those creepy critters with style, armed with nothing but the knowledge that those vampires don't stand a chance. And these vampire hunters aren't just one-trick ponies, they're simply walking arsenals. Enchanted whips? Check. Throwing knives and axes? Absolutely. Cross-shaped boomerangs? You betcha. Jars of holy water for those extra fiery moments, of course. And it's not just about weapons. Belmonts are legit fighters, weapons or no. They can throw punches so fast it's like trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Plus they can engulf themselves on fire to crank up the power of their physical attacks. This Belmont also boasts an impressive range of magical talents and a Swiss army knife of abilities. First up we've got non-physical interaction, a fancy term for dealing with things that aren't exactly solid. Christopher can take on ghosts and all kinds of spooky undead enemies, even the notoriously elusive death himself. Christopher's got a knack for metaphysics manipulation, messing around with souls like a champ. He's got a backstage pass to the undead world which comes in handy when you're dealing with Dracula's rogues gallery. And the cherry on top is immortality negation. Christopher put a dent in even the most immortal baddies. He's got a supernatural eraser for anyone who thinks they're invincible. Magic has been Christopher's arsenal thanks to the generosity of Renan Aldo Gandolfi, the magical benefactor. It's a family heirloom of sorts passed down through the Belmont lineage. Christopher also has the superpower of extrasensory perception, meaning he can spot a vampire a mile away. He can sense the vampire killer whips energy when it's close to vampires, and this is just the coolest one so far. The Belmont clan can amplify the powers of their weapons just by having them in their possession. For instance, they can turn an incomplete weapon into a powerhouse, and if Dracula's magical meddling turns humans into monsters, well the Belmonts can hit the undo button bringing them back to their human selves too. Marvellous verdict. In the world of iconic vampire hunters, Christopher Belmont stands as a timeless hero whose adventures have left a lasting impact on the fans of the Castlevania series. With unwavering courage and determination to battle the forces of darkness, Christopher is a character beloved by gamers too. As a member of the Belmont clan, he embodies the classic hero archetype. His ability showcases his incredible strength and agility. What truly distinguishes Christopher is his vast arsenal of weapons, including the renowned whip. Christopher Belmont's legacy is not merely confined to the pages of video game history. He represents the enduring appeal of the Castlevania series and the timeless struggle between good and evil. His name will forever be synonymous with the battle against the undead, leaving a mark on the world of vampire hunting heroes. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.